so mean. It's so pink. It's giving, honey. Look at it. It's giving. It's giving. Mm. Hey y'all, it's Mistress Marley. Welcome back to my channel. Um, we're not gonna get in the whole spill of when the last video was because I feel like it wasn't that long ago. So I'm doing good, y'all. Like, I'm back. I'm making videos. I've had a lot of downtime in the past couple weeks. I haven't been traveling, but that's about to start back up. I'm going to DC next weekend, and then after that, I am going to Miami for Goddess Brunch Miami. But y'all probably wondering. Why am I sitting on the floor in my closet with my bags? Because today is a story time. Woo! Give it up for story time. <laughs> We're going to do a story time. We're also going to go through some of my favorite luxury bags that I have, y'all. So, I feel like I don't do a lot of personal stuff like this. My videos are always just like, ugh, cut and dry. So, I'm just trying to, you know, show a little more. Give the girls a little more. Trying to take YouTube a little bit more seriously. But, yeah. Anyway, let's just jump right into it. So, before I get into the story time about my whale sub and how my whale sub found me, um, because, y'all, this man has sent so much money. Like, literally, from January to now, he sent over 30K. Um, we have not met in person. He's a fin sub, whale sub. He likes fin dom. He's into financial domination. So, he's just into sending me money. He likes to see where I spend the money to as well. Like, he said he likes to see when I'm, like, traveling or buying new bags or going out to eat because y'all know I'm a foodie. So, he likes to see stuff like that. And I love subs that just know how to get the fuck out of the way. Like, oops, can I, can I cuss on my channel? YouTube, don't delete me because y'all already be giving me strikes. Um, <laughs> I like when subs just stay out the way. Like, they send me money. I can do whatever I need to do with it. Um, you know, they're not too talkative like this well so doesn't talk a lot also because he has a very high profile job so he doesn't have time to be chatting with me all day and i like subs that are just quiet don't get me wrong i like the dom sub dynamic with my subs that i own that i talk to daily as well but those quiet subs hit a little different so anyway let's just talk about the first bag this bag is in my lap y'all so this bag right here this bag means everything to me this is my most prized bag, my most important bag, just in my closet, period. And I'm going to tell y'all why. So, when I first started doing Fendom in 2020, I told myself, my first big payout, whatever, like, I'm getting me a Chanel bag. And the reason why I want a Chanel bag is because, you know, I studied fashion design and fashion marketing. So, I did undergrad fashion design. Um, grad fashion marketing and you know one of the things you always learn about through all your years in fashion school you learn about Chanel you learn about Coco Chanel the background the history the importance of it to fashion all the things that were made that were revolutionary steps things of that nature and I always thought to myself when I was taking those classes when am I gonna afford a Chanel bag like come on when am I gonna afford a Chanel bag so when I started making my money, I said, you know what? The first bag I'm going to get is a Chanel bag. I don't care if it's irresponsible. I don't care if it's too much money. I'm going to get this bag. So I remember, and I have pictures of this. I remember me and my best friend, this was like in the middle of the pandemic. I want to say maybe like, maybe October 2020. Me and my best friend, we went um, shopping on, where did I get this? Oh, I went to the um, Chanel Soho. And I remember I'm just walking around, walking around. And I knew I wanted something pink because y'all know my favorite color is pink. I mean, like, look around. And I was like, okay, hmm. I want me a pink Chanel bag, but I want it to be a bag that means something to me and a bag that I don't necessarily have to wear all the time or don't want to wear all the time. So that's why this stood out to me because, first of all, it has fur on it, right? So this is not a bag that I would wear in the summer. This is like a winter bag for me. Um, I wouldn't wear it in the spring either. Probably wear it in the fall, but this is like a winter bag. So just look at the detailing, y'all. She is so pretty. She is so pretty. And I've only worn her maybe three times. Like, literally, that's it. Three times. And this bag was, after taxes and everything, this bag was $6,000. And I will never forget, I called my mom to show her. And she was like, how much was that bag? I was like, $6,000. She was like, you really went and spent $6,000? So, yeah, that's basically the background story of the Chanel bag. You know, I love it. I love it. But let's get into story time. Yes. So, my well, uh, well sub... He who must not be named. Because, um, you know, I don't put y'all names out there like that. I would never put my clients' names out there. He found me through YouTube. 
So I get a lot of subs that come to me from YouTube and say, hey, I follow you on YouTube, I want to send you money, whatever it might be. And they'll send little amounts here and there, whatever. But this sub said that he had been following my journey since the beginning. So I started my YouTube channel like back beginning of 2019, maybe. I used to talk about sugar baby stuff. I think I still have some old videos, y'all, them videos. That was young me. Let's just say that. But he was like, I've been following your journey since the beginning. He said, to see you just really, you know, elevate and go through this evolution of starting out as a sugar baby and then becoming this dominant, powerful woman that's not only, you know, killing it in her lane, but also helping community and stuff. He said he loves that. So he found me on YouTube and I was like, you know, at first I thought he was just a chatterbox. I was like, okay, a lot of subs say this to me. Y'all get so many messages that sometimes it just literally just passes by me. Like, I don't think twice about it. It's just like, whatever. Um, unless it's like a good amount of money attached. And he was just like, I would like to send you money, but I don't want to send you just a $50 tribute. I want to do like a four-figure send. So I was like, you know, okay, cool. Send me a four-figure send. So he sent me a four-figure send on Cash App. And I was like, okay. You know, he sent me $1,000. I was like, that's cute, whatever. Ain't no me being a fan down my end. I was like, that's cute. Kind of has my attention, but not really. Like, I got this to do. And then he sent another $1,000. And I was like, okay. He keeps going. So then we had a conversation. I was like, you know. What are you into? What are your kinks? What are your likes, dislikes, hard limits and stuff like that? He was like, I'm really just into being financially drained. He was like, um, I'm not really into doing in-person sessions. He said, in person, I can do without that. Like, and honestly, he's not even in the same state as me anyway. But, you know, that's when Fly Me To You comes into play. But he's like, I'm not really into in-person. That's not my thing. He said, I just want to be financially drained. And I figured the one person that I want to be financially drained by is like the top fendom. And I was like, oh, the top fan don't you think of me that way? He was like, I mean, when you go on Google, you're right there. He was like, you know, you've really been working hard and I've been following your journey silently. So when we say there's like a lot of silent watchers, y'all, as doms, don't think that everybody that wants to send you money has to be chatterboxes or have to be talking to you all the time. Like, there are silent senders out there that will just send and you would never know it or just be admiring you from a distance. So just, you know, just stay on your A game. Just tweet you know don't don't get discouraged if you feel like not enough uh subs are actually chatting with you you know it's the silent ones that send the most money so anyway like we developed a little um just like online dynamic where we were talking through text my google voice number whatever and he would just always send me money anything i needed he would send for if i went to travel he would send for it. and this has been since january um so he came in kind of right after my birthday um so he did a lot of making up for my birthday he would send if i went out to eat like it's just nothing to text him and say send me this amount he'll send it to me um never had any issues with him never had any issues with him being annoying or anything of that nature and this is like the type of sub that i manifested since the beginning of my journey like if i go back and look at my notebooks you will see that like i literally wrote something down like this like i want a sub that is very wealthy that is not annoying that sends to me and knows that I deserve everything that he sends to me like all of that different stuff and it came to fruition y'all so I mean I have right now on my roster I have about three well subs I'm working on one we gonna see cuz he a little annoying he yeah he a little annoying but um oh sorry I'm nosy but um what was I saying Damn. Okay, I'm going to try to remember what I was saying. We're going to look at another bag. All right, this is my second favorite bag, y'all. So this is my first Louis bag that I got. And it's cute because it's like something that's easy for your phone, your wallet. Um, not too much stuff. I like it. It goes with a lot of stuff. So I can wear it with black, gold, whatever. And I like this bag. It's cute. The only thing about this bag is that, like I said, it's small. So you can't really hold that much stuff. Like the more you put in here, the more it starts to look stuffed and looks crazy. Um, but other than that, I like it. I love this bag. It's cute. It's cute. It's cute. I love Louie, y'all. Um, what was I saying about the well stuff? Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, he's just always there to send. He's been really great. Uh, you know, a great well sub or whatever. And he's at the top of my list out of all my subs. Like, um, I know I might make some subs upset with that. But he's literally at the top of my list. And, like I said, this is something that I manifested. So, I'm going to keep draining him. Like, so far since January, I've gotten 30K. I'm going to keep draining him to see how far we can go. Um, he wants to do a very intense wallet drain, which we're going to do um, in the future. But it's been good, you know. And to me, I just like that he sees me. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't need nobody to see me because I see myself. But for a sub to approach me outside of, oh, can you make fun of my penis? Can you do this? Can you do that? For a sub to say, I really appreciate what you're doing for your community and I've watched your growth and I've seen how far you've come in the evolution, that's big to me. Because one thing for me, I'm stimulated here first. Like, people can write me all day telling me how nice I look, how pretty I am, my body or whatever. Like, 
okay whatever fine but when I have subs like that that acknowledge what I'm doing in the community because community is everything to me I built community because I didn't have community when I came into this industry so I try to keep that going so it's big to me to see somebody notice that y'all so yeah this um we gonna see we gonna see how far I go so far so good um he hasn't stepped out of line or anything um let's talk about another bag mm -hmm. this bag is my bag like I love this bag it's so girly it's just so flirty i love this bag and i got this bag in paris y'all so when i went to paris two years ago i got this bag and it was so much cheaper than the united states like this bag was maybe like almost 500 dollars cheaper than the united states it's a fendi bag i bought this bag because the sales associate was really just talking me into it <laughs> we was having some champagne so you know i had to get this bag and then my most recent bag is my pink Louis. I love this one. I just love it. It's cute. I like it. It's cute. I wish I could wear it with more stuff. Um, the thing is, I really only wear this with lighter pink stuff. I can't really wear this with hot pink stuff because it just don't look right. I've tried it, y'all. It don't look right. Um, but this is my other favorite bag. Um, but yeah, for the girls out there that are still waiting for their well subs, y'all keep posting. Like I said, you never know who's watching. Um, one thing that my well sub did po uh, point out was that he liked the quality of my content. So he liked the high quality of it. He liked how my pictures were intentional, how I took care of my appearance. Um, I'm just always into taking care of my appearance anyway. How um, he liked my marketing. He said he likes how he can tell I take it seriously and I really have a love for kink. Because I'm going to be honest, some subs can tell if you're not into kink. You know, so you want to just... Child, don't fake it till you make it. But you want to just... You want to have a general interest in this. Like, I would not be in this industry if I didn't like kink and those dynamics and things of that nature. Because I would just be wasting my time and I would just, it wouldn't feel natural to me. So, you know, subs are watching. Those well subs are out there. Um, my other well subs I've met in person in here. Um, not in here. I've met in person in New York. Um, so, you just never know who you're going to stumble across or who's going to stumble across you. It's another Fendi, y'all. I love hair. I love this Fendi, too. It's just see-through though. I have a thing about mesh bags. Like I feel like everybody's in my business when I wear this one or whatever. So sometimes I try to put little stupid stuff in there or whatever. Like one time I might walk around with like a dildo in here or something. Can I say dildo on YouTube? YouTube, don't cancel me. All right. Um, y'all, I'm sad about this bag. So this Fendi bag is very unique, y'all. But the reason why I haven't worn it in a long time is because. I got eyebrow pencil all over it, y'all. Don't ask how I did it. These black spots. And I don't know how to clean it off. I've looked up everything. So I have not worn this bag since then because of that, y'all. And she is so cute. But also, I don't own a lot of orange. So maybe she just meant to stay on display. But yeah. Yeah. And I got other bags here, too. This is another Louie. I don't wear her as much. I like the strap. It's cute. But yeah, y'all, so check in with me. I got a lot of stuff going on. I'm uploading new courses on Patreon. I just uploaded a new course today. Fendom Bootcamp starts July 1st. It still has a few seats, so if you're interested, message me. If any of you are interested in my classes or anything, it's better just email me. And my email address I'll put in um, the description. We're at wrong point in, y'all. Like, y'all, I got to get used to talking to the camera, talking to YouTube. Um... What else? Oh, I have Goddess Brunch coming up June 22nd in Miami. I literally have like three seats left for that. They're three basic seats. So if you're interested in that, hit me up as well. That's the in-person event where we have brunch. We whip subs. Y'all learn from me. We network with other doms. We just have a good ass time. So that's June 22nd in Miami. I have the House of Domina experience September 27th through the 29th that I'm hosting with Goddess Rue. That is a three-day weekend retreat for new doms and current doms. We're going to be doing everything from a luxury brunch, content creation, learning about the business, learning about Fendom, learning about how to market yourself, how to do certain kinks. We're going to have different instructors. And then we're also going to go to the place where I find my well subs at. So I'm... You know letting y'all step a little into that that side of me giving away a little bit of secrets or whatever um so if you're interested in that as well just email me anything you're interested in and i'm saying email me i'm gonna put all the links in my bio um thank you for sitting through this with me you know it was a little awkward but we got through it we got through the story time we talked about what we need to talk about um but yeah that's it call me beat me if you want to reach me actually don't call me because i'm not gonna answer but 
Bye, y'all.